I'm Kev. And I'm Steve. And we're from the internet. Want to get every episode of We're From The Internet at least a day earlier than the iTunes and Stitcher folk? Head over to we'refromtheinternet.com slash pledge to support us on Patreon, and as well as early access, we'll throw in an exclusive weekly show just for our patrons too. What is your favourite animal? The giraffe. Elephant. Why? Did you know the elephant is the second tallest animal after the giraffe? Like I am the second tallest host of this show. Yeah, after the giraffe lover. (laughs) How can an elephant be your favourite animal? That's stupid. Because they're so cool. How? How would you give me five ways an elephant is better than a giraffe? They have trunks. Right. So they have basically... Giraffe sticks. They have like five limbs, basically. What are they called? The giraffe stick. Ears. No, they're not. They've got the ears and then they've got the little... Horns. Next oh yeah, they got the yeah. Okay, the but elephants sticks. have got better horns. What are they for? What are the giraffe sticks for? Probably just their horns. Why does the giraffe? Or maybe they horns? feel wind or something. So elephants have tusks as well. Yeah, giraffes have necks. Uh, elephants are enormous, and you can ride them around. Giraffes are bigger. You can't ride a giraffe then. But you can. But you can't. I I was thinking the other day actually. Why don't you ever see a giraffe with a saddle on? Because <laughs> you'd break its <laughs> neck. I imagine. Why? Um. Elephants never forget. I'm not sure that's true. It is true. Giraffes, they both sleep standing up, don't they? Because no, if you push either of them over, they're, they're stuck. They can't get back up. I think up. elephants can get back up. I saw an elephant get back up when it was in a swamp on a TV show. Well, it's in a swamp. Up. If you climbed push out, it, climbed up. If you push it over on a road, it's not going to get back up again. Because mm. it'll get its legs get crushed under its bulk, much like if you stumble on a road. And they're really intelligent and mourn their dead and can think for themselves and use tools and paint and do all sorts of cool stuff. Giraffes come out of the womb and land on their feet. They drop. No, they don't. They, they flop down they drop and then they climb back up. I've seen giraffes on their feet. born. They don't they land, land on their feet. feet. They do they land are. on their feet. They land in a heap of disgustingness on and their, their mum licks them and they stand up yeah they land while. on their feet giraffes are cool don't get me wrong they're probably in my top 15 they lick stuff as well rhinos are a close second because they're basically little elephants with only one horn and no big ears which ones are rhinos are they the big sloppy <laughs> the ones the one or... horn not hippos then I, oh, I've always got rhinos and hippos confused <laughs> hippos are probably in the top 5 for me they just don't they're I like, just I like the whole range of grey <laughs> giants yeah, with the, big teeth. hippos are just big pigs but they are also the deadliest thing in any zoo. Why? I don't know. I just have you never been to a zoo and they've just said to you what? What's no, the most, I've never been to a zoo. What's the deadliest animal in the zoo? And everyone goes that tiger over there that's escaped. <laughs> and then they go, oh no, <laughs> ignore that. It's that hippopotamus there. Man, and then he pulls a gun out, <laughs> <laughs> shoots us all. Yeah. No, um, you should just throw it back to him. It's man. It's always the hippos. Why? What's I don't know. About Apparently hippo? they're just mental. But they're just big pigs. They slop around Have you ever seen Jessica, on? the tame hippo that lives with South Africans? This couple... What? This couple what? Found... That sentence didn't make any sense. <laughs> this couple found a hippo washed up as a baby that was ill and they nursed it back to health. Why? And they tried to release it into the wild. Because it was dying and they helped it and then they released it into the wild. They could have just eaten it. What and instead of releasing it into like? the wild, it came back right. and it lives in their house. I thought it was deadly. Again. Well, they are the deadliest animal ever, or something. But like someone's got it living in their house. They're not that. Deadly, this particular they? one, they think actually this one had brain damage or something when it when it was ill, but it just basically goes and socialises with the other hippos and then comes back home and they give it a back rub goes and they feed and it. Socialises, yeah. With like, the genuinely, hippos. there's a, there's, an ad, there's a video on YouTube about her, and uh, Carl Pilkington visited her on on his uh, program. He's what's it called, Idiot Abroad. Um, yeah, I used to show my daughter that video like twice a day. We should just watch. What and the hippo just comes in the house? Yeah, ruins the place. In the video, why that do we they watched, let it in then? Because they're idiots. But it, in the video I watched, it trod on their dog's foot, and I, <laughs> my poor dog said its foot crashed. Yeah, hippo. that dog's basically getting put down now. Surely, I don't know. You put right. dogs down if they get a broken foot. No, that's horses. What? See, why is that? Why don't you put everything down if you get a broken foot? Why just horses? I think it's a specific muscle in a horse's leg. If it breaks, then it just doesn't heal. And it's lame forever. Well, can't I they just put a wheel put, on yeah. it? I don't know. I, I don't, don't, I don't know the ins and outs. I'm not a horse farmer. A I'm an axe little farmer. You know that. They, they all die. Five. You've never had one make it through to adulthood yet. My two I've got have. You're, but yeah. you're the worst farmer in the world. I've got 200 eggs at home that I can't go wrong <laughs> this time if they're fertile. Mm, you should give them to me. I reckon I could do as, as good a job as you did last time for mm. half the price. 
Um, I've, I've got to four there. I feel like I need to round it off with a fifth. Well, I'm going to say tigers. What about axolotls? You, well, I just said, could... yeah, I said axolotls, hippos, rhinos, elephants, and tigers. What's good about tigers? They just look cool. White tigers look awesome. I've seen, there's only something like 11 of them in the world. or something. I can't remember the amount. It's a low number, and I've seen about six of them. I said to my wife, we need to go see the others, surely. That just needs to be a thing now. We've start, we accidentally started a collection. Now we need to do the rest. All right, goats. Goats just don't feature, do they? Not There's they? never in the history of the human race been a photograph of a goat and a stoat together. I wish you hadn't reminded me of this because when you first mentioned it, I literally spent a week of my life looking. Yeah, every, every spare moment I was looking. My brother worked at the estate agents I worked at for six months, just as a Saturday job when he was younger. And that I just used to get him to do that all day Saturday, scour the internet for a picture of a goat and a stoat next to each other. And this was 10 years ago. So for the last 10 years, me and people around me have been searching for a picture of a goat and a stoat together. And it doesn't exist. I challenge you, listener, if you can find a genuine, non-photoshopped picture yeah, of a goat and a stoat together. Yeah, everyone's the stoat, goat, coat, moat. In a boat picture. Yeah. yeah, I've seen that one. And that's a cartoon, you idiot. And I don't want a, a stoat photoshopped onto a goat. I don't want a weasel and a goat. Weasels and stoats aren't the same thing. But is there a weasel goat picture out there? Apparently so. I don't. I don't dignify it with a glance. I know it's a weasel. There was even a uh, stoat and goat festival that was yeah. found, wasn't there? Do you remember when we no came across that? No pictures of stoats yeah, and goats never together. Two shall we? I assume they're just mortal enemies. If you put the two together, the world will end. But what they, started that quest? Because they rhymed, and um. I just thought, oh no, this will be a funny picture. I'll just get, I'll Google stoat and goat and just. Print the picture out and put it on the notice board at work. <laughs> I was bored. It was a Saturday afternoon. Yeah. And I just I spent an hour looking for it. and I couldn't find it. So my brother started as well, and we spent all day together. <laughs> this is why the housing market collapsed <laughs> because of people like us. It ruined the first six months of our degree because I kept looking. I couldn't yeah. stop. But I would suggest you would struggle to find two other objects that have never been photographed together. What about? See? The You're moon and your penis. I, I said you would struggle. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's not on the internet. <laughs> I'm going to take that. But I guarantee that photo will exist before one of a goat and a stoat together exists. But it's just bizarre. There are two animals that have never been photographed together. That's weird. Somebody Sorry. must have that in their collection. If you're Nobody listening does. now and you've got a photo collection. The thing is as well, you didn't want anyone to go out and photograph it, did you? Just because you told them to. You want it to be an organic. Yeah. If you are a goat owner and you know someone who owns a stoat, don't fake it. I want it to happen. <laughs> organic. But then I suppose if you do fake it, you're going to be front page news world over because you'll have created something that's never existed before. I might set up a Kickstarter. <laughs> So I've given you my top five, even though they only asked for one. So what are your other four? Goat, stoat, giraffe, um, weasel, <laughs> and ferrets, because you can't bring them over the border. <laughs> and That's the, a weird one. The it? sign on the Channel Tunnel saying no guns, no knives, no ferrets is possibly my favourite road sign ever. Bearing in mind, we've been to Disneyland in Lincolnshire, and um, <laughs> and yeah. that's not my favourite road sign my favorite road sign is the one as you get onto the channel tunnel because why on earth ferrets would be the third dangerous thing that someone could bring into the country i have no idea <laughs> we need a picture of a ferret pulling up in a car with guns like the 18 mobile with just their i bet that exists chamber. that's more likely to exist than the goat and the stoke together want to get your question answered on a future episode of we're from the internet head over to we're from the internet.com slash question Tweet your questions at Kevin Steve, email kevinsteve at gmail.com or post them at facebook.com slash kevinsteve or even leave them in the comments for this episode. Mm-hmm.